Atlantis. Well, Kessel's popular is really many different uh, viewers. I don't think there was just one uh, Kessel card, but I think that's more of a collective name that we would find the different the culture bearers uh, over uh, thousands of years. But all these, these uh, culture bearers uh, share a number of similar attributes. So, um, they were clearly the bringers of a much more advanced, uh, much more sophisticated civilization. Uh, the earliest legend and myths of Quetzalcoatl depict uh, him uh, as uh, um, clearly a stranger, so different uh, uh, from uh, the local uh, indigenous uh, population. Uh, they say that Quetzalcoatl with his companions uh, came uh, from a land in the east of Mexico to the east uh, of uh, Mesoamerica, which would situate it in uh, the Atlantic Ocean uh, once again, and that uh, these uh, civilizers brought uh, knowledge of uh, agriculture, of monumental architecture, of astronomy, they were the inventors of the calendar, of uh, writing, uh, uh, all these uh, inventions, uh, basically, that uh, form the basis of civilization. And what is curious is that these traditions that we find in Central America and Mexico around Quetzalcoatl, Cucurcano, these guys were known by very different names, also found almost identical in uh, so many different parts of the world. In South America, for instance, they have almost identical stories about the Arcocha, in uh, Egypt, uh, we have um, a creation account according to which the gods is going to land in the West, but also in the ancient Sumer in Mesopotamia, we have many similar accounts of the civilizing gods that uh, uh, almost uh, in all cases uh, were said to have come from the sea and brought a superior and much more advanced civilization. So if you see the, if you go to the, the Mexican pyramid of the, the, feather, the feathered serpent, um, you see all of these, well, throughout Mexico, really, but there, you see all of these serpent motifs, the serpent. Uh, what is the significance of the serpent, and, and does it relate to Atlantis? Yeah, so uh, that might actually have been uh, a real physical attribute of these uh, the viewers. It might have had something to do with uh, their uh, clothing, uh, because it's something we find very consistently. So, and the king of Mesoamerica was depicted as a feather serpent, so the image uh, that evokes uh, uh, feathers or scales. Uh, but then also in the Babylonian myth of the, when these civilizing gods are called Oannes or Aptalus, uh, they are depicted as men uh, wearing uh, a sort of a, a fish uh, suit. Uh, uh, something that really resembles the body of a fish uh, with scales. Uh, um, and also, they used to think uh, about something very closer to us, uh, uh, the biblical myth uh, of uh, the watcher and the fallen angels are also depicted as these beings uh, uh, with wings covered in 